good afternoon ma'am good afternoon good afternoon very good afternoon shantanu so as as we are meeting first time so i would like to know about you and i want yeah yes so would you like to introduce yes, yes. yourself yes definitely um, ma'am uh, thank you for uh, giving this opportunity to introduce myself in front of you i am santanu das i am from west bengal by profession i am working person i work in a hospital as an attendant and if i uh, if i talk about my education qualification i have completed my graduation in mathematics subject and if i talk about my hobbies i always like playing cricket and football apart from i am running my one youtube channel which name is english with hd that's all about me and it is my short introduction ma'am and ma'am please introduce yourself okay here yeah, it's my plan uh, yeah my name is monica yeah my monica is my nickname my name is minu chen i am a homemaker mother of two sons i live in up it is very close to delhi my town is very small town and it is very close to delhi and if i talk about my academics i did bsc in bio and after that i did fashion designing but i never did job and uh, i love cooking reading books yeah these thing yeah that is all about me yes yes it is nice it is a nice introduction also for you and uh, it is good to know about yourself and ma'am uh, you uh, how long have you been learning english i mean speaking english it's been 2 years and i started working on myself yeah Two years, and ma'am, uh, have you joined? Uh, did you join any coaching center? Did you join any institute before for your speaking English? No, no, I took some classes from English Ari when I started that time to check myself. That time I took, yeah, but uh, it was very difficult for me, so I just stopped like yeah, taking classes from there. Yes, yes, and ma'am, how did you improve your your uh, speaking skill? by talking to others like right? by speaking i just uh, install some application like as fluency josh talk i use those application i found those application much easier for me and being as a homemaker whenever i used to get time free time i used to connect with the i would like connect with the people and it was very easiest for me yeah there no yeah, hesitation yeah. no one is going to judge you so in that way i use those application and watching some videos on youtube reading some books yeah i applied those method yes yes and you whenever you get free time you you talk to another people and right now also by uh, by practicing you are improving your, your english skill but uh, but uh, uh, how much time do you practice how much time do you speaking in english in a day okay like whenever i used to talk on audio that time i I got. I used to get more time, but video call it takes much time. That is, I uh, nowadays one hour. Like, yeah, if I get someone who is ready to connect with me, one, two, two, three calls I do. Yeah. Yes, yes. And ma'am, I, I am asking asking one question. I know also to speak English fluently, always you have to follow four rules: L, S, R, W, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Four things are very important for speaking English. But what is the most important part for speaking English? i according to me speaking because we already we have been learning this language since childhood as a subject so you know, i think we already know so many vocabulary so much grammar me never try to speak so rather than going for other thing we should try to speak like i also uh, uh, yeah, applied this thing i started with speaking by using this kind of application is fluency and uh, josh talk i told you because if you are not uh, speak with someone how would you come to know where you are making mistake where you need to uh, like work on yourself so yeah and if we are busy with like reading writing and uh, grammar so you are not going to speak so you should start speaking speaking come by speaking if you are not speaking you are working too much hard so it won't be help, help you it not going to help you yes yes and mama right now also you are a homemaker you have a lot of work a lot of work in your family you have a two kids also you have told before and right now also you are learning english you have you have running your you have been running your channel for few days but how did you manage your time i think according to me when you have anything like if you have passion so you get time for that thing like yeah I, somehow i am managing it is very difficult for me sometime getting time for myself it is not easy but i am very passionate about this thing so i am managing i am just i have a discipline so i do all the times on time so in that way so i know 3 to 4 i am free 
three to five. So that time I use for speaking purpose. When I'm in kitchen, so I try to listen anything. If I'm lying on bed, so I listen something. If my husband and my kids are watching TV, so I watch any English content. So in that way, I just segregated my time. My like yeah, dividing my all the things like that. Yes, yes, and as as the by you, uh, you also you also learn English while working something, yeah. No, there is nothing like that. I don't want to work. It was my wish to become a French speaker to get comfortable with this language. If I am going outside, if someone start with uh, speaking, so I don't feel shy. I don't feel hesitant. Yeah, yeah, that was my wish, and now I feel I am comfortable. I can talk with anyone. So yeah. Yes, yes. And ma'am, you have been learning English about two years. Also, you have told before. And but who motivated you for speaking English? In English? Myself. It was me. <laughs> yeah, it was my wish. Yeah, I had a desire because when I was college, like when you come into college, the so both English medium Hindi medium students come together. So yeah, few students were so good, and I I was very like introvert. I had fear of this language, so I never tried to speak. So I always wanted to get rid of that fear. So yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And I am asking you another question to you, and and and. Uh, And why English is important, and why are you learning English? What is the reason behind it? Like you, I told you, like my reason was that ki I found myself like uh, it's my weakness. And if you have any weakness, so you should work on that. If you feel it is working as like it is just barrier in your growth. So I thought if I feel low confidence due to this language, so it is not like nowadays social media is there. There are so many application we can, and this language is important. Because in India, after your native language, it is widely using everywhere. Every if you go somewhere, and if you are not able to speak, so like maybe they don't judge you, but you feel very bad. Like after getting so much education, if you are not comfortable with this language, so what is the benefit of having so, that much education? Yeah. So yeah, that is why it is getting so much importance. I think in um uh, like few years after, like maybe in five six years, six years, it's gonna fade. Because nowadays kids are going in English area school, so many people are working on their English. So maybe in future, no one gonna face fear. This kind of fear we are facing this time, and we are running towards this language. In future, no one going to we are run this language towards this language. Yes, yes. Ma'am, you you have told before also you have two kids, and right now also are they going to English medium school? Yeah, my kids are not small kids. They are like uh, elder one completed graduation and doing business. Oh, yeah. And younger ones also completed graduation and preparing for MCA. So they yes, completed yes. their admission from English medium, CBSE medium. They are good. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we don't speak in English at home because it seems fake. It seems artificial. We feel comfortable in our Hindi language. Yeah. My younger son, he is preparing for his interview. That time he practiced with me. Otherwise, we are comfortable in Hindi. Yes. Yes. And ma'am, when you were studying in your school life, that time also was your was your school in English medium? Yeah, like my you are asking about me. Yeah, you are asking like yeah, my school I did my schooling from Hindi medium, but when I was in BSc, that time I gave exam in English, but I never tried to speak. Yes, yes. And ma'am, uh, in our locality, I observe that right now also most of the parents they are. Always sending their child in English medium school, yeah. But why? Why English is important? Yeah, when you come into the real world, yeah, when you go for a job, when you go for an interview, that time it's needed. So that is why I think people are sending, they are admitting their kids, they are putting their your their kids into English medium school. Whatever problem they faced, they are facing. Their kids not going to face. That is the reason parents sending their kids into English medium school. Yes. Yes. And ma'am, you have been learning English for a long time. You have been learning say, about two years. But uh, uh, what do you think? English grammar is important for speaking English. But like, yeah, like we already know. Like, if you we have been learning this language since childhood, so initially we should work on speaking. Speaking is must. Yeah. After that, when you feel yeah, you are making mistake, you need some improvement. That time you you can go for a grammar. If you want to become a very good conversationalist and you want to make a good impact to others, that time. You can go, and you can check yourself. Not deep dive into the grammar. Just take an idea. Yeah. Yes, yes. 
and ma'am, I, I am I, I my next question is uh, what what is the best, better process, thinking English or translating English? Translating English is not going to be help you. It will make a blunder. Like if you go now, like thinking in English is much better. Yeah, because uh, it's a feeling, and if you are going to translate them, maybe some word has different meaning, and in a feeling it is a different. So you can't translate. Yeah, in Hindi also, na some words having different different. We are using same word many ways, and if you are translating, so it will going to make a blunder. So yeah, it is not going to help you. Yeah, yeah. Right now, you are from UP, but what do you live in UP? Village area or city area? It is a town. It is a small area. It is not a city. It is not a totally village. It's a town. Yes, yes. And in your locality, do you have any friend? Do you have any partner who is willing to learn English? No, I don't find. I have no idea about this because I always at home. I don't go outside. So yeah, but nowadays kids are going every like my locality. Most of the kids are going English medium school. They are studying in a very good English medium school. So yeah, in that way they are very good in English. They are very good at English. Yes, yes. And ma'am, uh, what do you do in your spare time? Yeah, like nowadays it's very hard to me get spare time. I always uh, feel like I'm running out of time. I don't have that much time. Yeah, so nowadays whenever I get time, so I work on this language. I try to connect with people, and yeah, so this time, this way I'm using my free time. Yes, sir. You and uh, you have told before also. Uh, you, whenever you get free time, you always watch the YouTube video in English. But what kind of channel do you follow for your improving your English skill? Okay, like uh, I listen some grammar, some conversational videos. It depends on my my mood. My mood. I watch different different kind of a video. Yeah, some native speakers videos also I watch. In that way, I watch different videos. Sometimes movie also. Yeah. Yes, yes. And ma'am, uh, uh, you are from uh, you are from UP. I did not know what is the uh, what is the famous place in your state right now. But what is the famous place? In your state, okay. You must heard na Ayodhya. Yeah, it on it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. got celebration of Ram my temple. It is in also UP Ayodhya, Mathura, Agra, like Taj Mahal. It is also in UP and Kar Kashi, Varanasi, Lucknow. These are in UP, and I think it is a very good produce like sugar cane. We have in UP na no? like yeah production of sugar cane. Yeah, these thing. Yeah, we North Indian people love. Dal chapati, this kind of a food like you West Bengal people like like chawal rice and fish. We love yes, yes, yes. yeah chapati and sabji rice. This kind of a thing yeah we love and yeah this thing. Have you ever been to UP yeah, or not? Do you like? Never a chance. You never. No 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 no. I did not go there, but I am willing to go there. Yeah. Okay. When did you start your YouTube channel? Yeah, I have. Uh, I have been running my YouTube channel about three months. Okay, okay, I know. And how are you feeling now? When you started, and now, what kind of changes are you feeling in you? Yes, 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 definitely. Yeah, when when I started my English speaking journey, that time also every single day I talked to another people, and after that also I record the video, and after recording the video, I upload my YouTube channel. But I, by right now also by practicing, I am improving my English skill. I observed that uh, what is the difference between first video and last video on my YouTube channel. Yeah, this is okay. Now you are comfortable talking in in person. If someone is like you are working in a hospital, many people come. They are good at English. So are you comfortable with them talking in English? Yes, yes. But uh, in uh, in the hospital also, there uh, no one speak English. We, I I belong to village area. It is rural hospital. Okay. Yeah, it is rural hospital. That's why also no one speak English in our in the hospital. Okay. You are also not getting a chance to connect with the people in person face to face. You also, but yeah, yes, that yes. is also like kind of a face to face. Like yeah, video calling is also kind of a face to face. That is a good thing. It's help us to removing the hesitation and getting like yeah to come out your comfort zone. Yeah. yeah, but. Uh, But another also working in the hospitals, uh, few of the doctors they are also speaking English. Yeah, they speak yeah. English. But I always, I always also collect the some vocabulary uh, from the doctor. Yeah. Okay, okay. You so you try to speak with them, doctors. 
with like with them in english no. okay okay no i don't speak in english in hospital yeah okay okay no problem but yeah it is good you okay. started your I'm... channel you are working on yourself so it is a good initiative when you are working on yourself that is a good thing yeah and ma'am uh, do you like traveling no no i don't like traveling i feel like tiredness whenever I, but once uh, or twice in a year along with my family small trip that i like otherwise i love to stay at home and reading books we yeah, are making this kind of a conversation these make me happy rather than going outside whenever you go na like summer time too much hot winter time too much like cold and the rainy season yeah. always rain so yeah i feel comfortable at home rather yeah. than going out yeah but uh, going in my neighborhood family function birthday parties anniversaries yeah that kind of a thing i love because that time i get chance to connect with people talking with them so yeah i like those things yes yes Ma'am, right now is summer season is going on. The temperature is very high in our locality. It is too hot. The weather is too hot. But what is the weather in your locality? It's too hot. It's uh, around forty-four, forty-five degrees centigrade here. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, due to this uh, video, now I'm not uh, using fan. So I'm sweating. Yeah. Yes, yes. It is too much. Ma'am, did you? Yes. Ma'am, did you visit any other state in our country? uh like you are asking about i visit any other state in india yeah when yes, i was yes. child i visit so many state i visited south india also like rameshwaram kanyakumari tamil nadu andhra pradesh but that time i was too small and after yes. getting married i visit like vishnu devi and uttarakhand kasuri haridwar rishikesh so yeah these places i visited and delhi is near by to my town so i we frequently go there Yeah, doing that way. Yes, yes, and 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 before conversation also, before conversation, you also told you have told me you like also cooking, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. I love. But what kind of food? What kind? Different with different kind of dishes like South Indian sambar dosa, idli vada. I can make and I can make rasgulla also. West Bengal, na rasgulla. I know yes. how to make. Yeah, by cow milk and. Yeah, I know the procedure, and I can make chena mitai also. Yeah, 